Overnight, Democrats celebrating a series of key victories, with abortion rights again proving to be a potent political issue heading into 2024. The abortion access is the law of the land in Ohio. In one of the country's most watched swing state races, Ohioans voting to guarantee abortion access, enshrining that right into the state's constitution. Ohio becoming the seventh state to vote to protect abortion rights since the Supreme Court's ruling last year overturning Roe v. Wade. We own our own bodies. In deep red Kentucky, abortion rights also at the heart of Democratic Governor Andy Bashir's re-election campaign. This is our chance to build that commonwealth we have always dreamed of, to stop the fighting, to push away the division. Bashir defeating the state's Republican Attorney General Daniel Cameron, who was backed by former President Trump and opposed abortion rights. This brick wall means we maintain our majority in the Senate. And in Virginia, a tidal wave for Democrats who held on to their state Senate majority and took control of the House of Delegates, too. A dramatic rebuke of Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin, who was counting on a solidly red legislature to pass a ban on abortion after 15 weeks, with exceptions for rape and incest and saving the life of the mother. So any sort of uh, scale back of those rights, roll back of those rights that Governor Youngkin was uh, offering, essentially, was repudiated tonight. One election night win for Republicans in Mississippi. Thank you, Mississippi. Where incumbent Tate Reeves won a second term as governor, Thank beating Democrat you. Brandon Presley, the cousin of a famous Mississippian, Elvis. And in Philadelphia, history was made. Democrat Sherelle Parker becoming the first female mayor in the city of brotherly love. So all those national results allowing anxious Democrats and President Biden to breathe a sigh of relief this morning after a series of recent polls showed Biden trailing in a 2024 rematch with Mr. Trump. President Biden overnight touting the results, posting voters vote, polls don't. And speaking of Biden campaign officials overnight, Savannah Hoda, they emphasize that the message still matters. And that's proving especially true on the issue of abortion rights. All right, Peter Alexander leading us off. Thank you, Peter. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.